the Supreme Court on Friday allowed a Texas law that bans most abortions to remain in effect for now. But in an unusual move, the justices said they want to hear arguments in the case at the soonest opportunity. Those arguments at the High Court on November 1 will help the justices decide whether the law, the most restrictive abortion law in the nation, should be blocked while illegal challenges continue. The law, known as Senate Bill 8, has been the subject of a series of legal challenges since before it went into effect in September, and it made one previous trip to the High Court. Here are some questions and answers about the law, its path through the courts and what happens next. What exactly is the Supreme Court deciding? The challenges to Texas law now before the Supreme Court were brought by abortion providers and the Biden administration. Texas law prohibits abortions once medical professionals can detect cardiac activity, usually around six weeks, before some women know they're pregnant. That conflicts with Supreme Court precedent, which says states are prohibited from banning abortion before viability, the point at which a fetus can survive outside the womb, around 24 weeks of pregnancy. The Supreme Court could reconsider those precedents in a case it's hearing in December, but it hasn't yet. As far as the Texas law goes, the way it is written has so far made it unusually difficult to challenge in courts. The question the justices are considering is whether the Justice Department and abortion providers can challenge the law in federal court. Even if the justices decide that either or both can sue, they still must vote on whether to allow the law to remain in effect while the legal challenges continue. What is unusual about the Supreme Court's action Friday? The court is moving at a really rapid pace. Normally there are months between when the court agrees to hear a case and arguments in a courtroom. This time the court has put the parties on an extraordinarily compressed timetable to file briefs and prepare for arguments in a little over a week. That suggests the justices plan to make a decision quickly. In addition, usually the high court agrees to hear arguments only in cases in which lower federal courts have decided an issue in conflicting ways. That's not the case here. How is Texas law unusual? The law differs from similar efforts to restrict abortions in other states by leaving enforcement to private citizens, who can sue doctors or anyone who helps a woman get an abortion. 